Hello everyone, this is Luke, and you're watching OPK Gaming. This is Season 2, Episode 3 of our Minecraft Modcraft Let's Play. Sorry for cutting off the last episode abruptly, but here we go. So as you can see here, I found this whole collection of lava, and lava is only one deep, thankfully. So I'm just going to mine a whole bunch, and I want to see what level this is on. So this is level 10, and I'm guessing level 10 is the lava level, and... I'm not quite sure why it's not working too well. I guess it's just my bad luck why I'm finding lava above level 10, but yeah, well, I can't really change much about that. Unfortunately, under here, there is lava, so I can't mine that out right now, but I will eventually. And then actually, now that we have all of our stuff, we're gonna head back up here, grab the rest of the obsidian, grab the stone, and finally grab the Philosopher's Stone, and that would let us create our Transmutation Tablet. Put these in each of the four corners, plus these, and that creates a Transmutation Tablet. This has to be placed down- oh! Actually, I didn't even need two Philosopher's Stones. Oh well, I guess I kind of wasted some resources, but whatever, I'm not going to complain. So as you can see, when I place this down, it has a grid. And this grid, you can actually teach it to learn things. So I'm pretty sure you just place it... Wait, no. You place it in there and it learns it. So now I can create it anytime I want. And I can learn that now. You actually have to put everything you have into that. So basically I'm just going to do that for the next half hour. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys that other mods do not in fact work in the transmutation table. I mean, it's kind of a given, but it just doesn't work. And also, even its own modded divining rod doesn't work. So I'm going to... See, wood works, wool works, everything that's stock. And of course, a couple other things that are not stock. And as you can see now, if I throw in something like cobble, I just get, like, I don't know, however this much is, and I throw it in here, it'll actually give me the MC equivalent of it. So now with that all in, I can actually get more wool, I can get string. And as you see here, I got five more strings. So now we're going to go and create the amazing, al no, no, sorry, not the alchemical chest. We're going to create the talisman of repair. And the Talisman of Repair, actually, let's let's learn these three first. Those are probably very important to learn. Just throw these in there. It's pretty simple to do. Or, Oh, sorry, uh, that's Glowstone. There you go, we learned that. And as you can see, this has already been learned, so we can't put that in there. And also the Blue Covalent Dust. So now if I would throw, say, a diamond in there, or maybe... Let's throw in some coal. And you can cook that, or maybe you can't cook it. Huh, interesting. Well... As you can see, I can actually create this covalent dust. So let's grab some more. I can create that and create torches. Let's get a whole bunch of torches. I don't see why not. And then also, I'm going to try cooking some redstone. Huh, that's interesting. Does not seem to let me cook the redstone or put it anywhere for that matter. Maybe the transmutation tablet's broken. That would that'd be unfortunate. So as you can see, I can actually put in coal, but I can't put in anything else. I mean, stone, sorry. And actually, I think it's a one-to-one -one ratio of cobblestone to stone. So basically, if I want to turn stone, I don't even have to use any power. I just go ahead and throw it into the transmutation tablet, and it does it for me. Pretty awesome. And now we're actually going to teach it... Ni no, I can't teach it Nikolai. Let's teach it Diamond, of course. That's probably a huge thing. We're going to teach it... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Iron Block. Gold Block. Lapis. I'm going to get it to teach it both lapis regular and lapis not regular. And we're also going to teach it... Let's put... Just let's go ahead and put these away. Put that away and put that away. Reorganize. And so let's throw these in here. So diamond, teach that. And as you can see, it's worth 8,000. So if I were to put it in here, it would just give me an insane amount of EMC. And then also... I'm going to throw in that. So that's worth 18,000. That can give me quite a few diamonds and give me just about everything. I'm going to throw that in there. And as you can see, I can put it back in there, but other things I can't. Oh, I can learn netherrack as well. Stone stairs, I can learn... Oh, stone stairs only worth one? Wow, that's really cheap. Okay. And yeah, that's pretty awesome. And I think you can learn different kinds of wood. I want to see, yeah, so you can learn this wood, you can learn different kinds of wool. It's pretty awesome, actually. This is really awesome. <laughs> So after searching for quite a while, I finally found some sugar canes, and now we have our paper. So what we need for the talisman of repair is the three covalent dusts just like that, 
two string, and actually, no, no, sorry, it's six covalent dust. So we're gonna have to grab some more. I might as well get two more of each because I'm gonna have to be make. I'm going to make the the larger chest, the alchemical chest. So we just put these like that, these like that, like that, string around, and then finally some paper. Maybe that's no. Okay. There you go. That makes a talisman of repair. And this thing, I believe. So if you leave this in your inventory, like right here, it will actually repair items right before they break, con uh, consuming covalent dust. So if I have some covalent dust in here, and I were to say use my diamond pickaxe until it broke, it would actually save it just before it broke, and that yeah, basically that's all it does. Unfortunately, I don't really have obviously I still have plenty of diamond to go through, so I can't show you right now. But that's apparently what it does. And then also we're going to create a alchemical chest that is made with a regular chest. So I'm gonna I'm gonna break. I'm gonna reorganize this. Actually, let's make it there. We go. And we're gonna break this side. I'm going to hope that that's the right side. Yes, okay, so it's made with a chest, two stone, two iron, a diamond. So I'm going to have to take out a diamond. I'm going to need two iron. Probably should reorganize this as well. Okay, I guess that is organized. Two iron, a chest, two stone, and covalent dust. So let's reorganize that. Actually, wherever my covalent dust went, where did it go? Covalent dust, where are you? Oh, I guess I lost some covalent dust. Or maybe it used the talisman of repair, maybe actually repaired my pickaxe. I don't know how it did it, but I think it maybe did. So we're gonna get one of this and one of this. Oh. oh okay, so as you can see, it actually repaired my tool. And if I. There you go. So do you guys notice how the iron pickaxe actually repaired itself? Well, that's what the Talisman of Repair did. And what we're going to need now is actually to create the chest. And I don't have any stone, so we're going to just see if I have any stone. Nope, okay, no stone in there. Of course, all you have to do is throw that in there, and you get stone. Just like that. Nice, simple, effective. So what we're going to need to do, put those like that. Place each of these above, sorry, just like this place a chest, no, no, sorry, a diamond here, those there, and finally the chest here, and that creates an alchemical chest. An alchemical chest is basically a giganto chest. Let's place it down and show you guys. Look at that. Humongous. And I love how these actually rearrange to the side, because in 1.0, they're like right up here, and you would try to click on them and then pick up an item below it, and it was just a pain. But I like how they reorganize it now to work together pretty awesome. And as you can see, I can store whatever I want, probably the entire contents of both of these chests. But I'm going to leave this chest how it is, mostly because it's doing fine. <laughs> I just paused because I heard a sound in the background. It sounds like a basketball. <laughs> Interesting. And yeah, I'll be right back. And actually, another reason why I don't want to put anything in here is because I want to make an alchemical bag. And this is made with wool plus three of the blue covalent dust, which, thank God, is so much cheaper than the previous version, because seriously, it just, it was so expensive, I didn't even want to make it. So what we need now is this, plus some wool, which I have in here, somewhere. Here we go. You place it like this, and then you place the three covalent dusts around, and then finally you place the chest in the middle. And that creates an alchemy bag. These are a alchem alchemical chest in your hand. It is absolutely amazing. I love it. I'm pretty sure I didn't even get into here until like episode 30 <laughs> of season 1, so I'm a lot more advanced than I was before. And then now we're actually going to do a pumpkin farm. And so what we're going to need to do is get those pumpkins that I had before and start to making a huge farm for them. And as you can see, I had farm. I'm gonna keep one pumpkin just in case. I'm gonna turn the rest into seeds. And actually, I believe I can make it learn seeds, so I'm gonna put it in there. Yes, okay. So now what I wanted to do is can I have a target? Okay, I'm gonna have a target seeds. And I'm gonna place the Oh. Okay, yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, so let's place that in there. And as you can see, if we just 
Maybe, I don't know if there is a way to target seeds. How much are they worth? Okay, they're worth 68. That's probably why. I'm going to throw in some red... No. Let's throw in something expensive, like iron. I'm going to throw in some iron, and we're going to make a whole bunch of these seeds. So if I throw this in here, and then I get pumpkin seeds, I believe I can target it, and it will create... Nope. Okay, I guess targeting doesn't work anymore. Well, we're just going to get as much as we can. There we go. So we have 26 pumpkin seeds. That is way more than we'll ever need, but that doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and start our farm and make it day. <laughs> so I know what you guys are thinking. Luke, why don't you just go back to the place and get a whole bunch of gold and iron and lapis and just turn it into diamonds? Well, that's actually what I'm going to do. I got myself 28 gold blocks. I got 28 iron blocks and 60, no, 68 Lapis Azuli. So we're going to throw this in here. And as you can see, with just those, I created several more diamonds. Three more diamonds. That's that's amazing. I'm going to keep a lot of Lapis, but... Well, now that I think of it, I don't really need that much. But you, you never know. It could be helpful. And as you can see, I have 247,000 diamonds. I mean, there we go. 34 diamonds. Oh my gosh, that's insane. I'm going to just put in half of these. There we go. We have another... Okay, we have 65 just from that. And uh, now we have another... So 69. I'm going to put in just two more. Make it 70. There we go. Oh, okay. 71. But eh, maybe just one or two more. Okay, there we go. So now we have 72 diamond blocks. Oh, wait, is that 70? No. Yeah, that is 72. Okay, well, 72 diamonds. That is absolutely insane. I'm going to make a diamond block. And also, with pressing C, you can still make the crafting table, which is very, very helpful in a lot of situations. So now we have our diamond block. We're just going to throw this in here and learn it. There we go. Nice and easy. And of course, with all these resources, we can go ahead and start making matter generation. That requires glowstone, so I'm going to have to get some more glowstone, which I luckily have plenty of, so we're going to get all that and make that into glowstone blocks. It only requires four, luckily, or else I'd kind of, I really hate it if it required nine. And so we have, it only requires six glowstone, one glass, which I don't have any, I don't even think I have sand. No, I do not. Okay, I'm gonna have to get just one piece of sand. Yeah, I'll just get two, what the heck. And now we cook it, and that should provide us with the necessary amount and of course I don't have any power. What do you expect? So we're gonna need to steal some power that apparently I don't have. Okay, well I don't have any power, so we're gonna have to make some power. Let's grab as much coal as we can. Actually, I'll just use charcoal, what the heck. Eh, well that's probably way overkill. I'm just gonna take three for now. And we're gonna turn it into power. And of course with that power, we're going to charge the battery that I took. See, it's still loud. Err, that's annoying. Uh, whatever. I don't think I can change it too much. I hope uh, again, you guys can still hear me over the sound. It's still... Yeah, it is still loud. Err. If you guys know how to stop the sound being so loud, yeah, please tell me, because I really don't know how. And there we go. So the battery's charging. It's quite a bit charged. It's cool, actually, there's a number counting down for how many seconds left. I don't know if that's seconds left or just the special number for it. So obviously, it needs 11 more seconds, I guess, for power. And that's probably almost exactly how much I had for the coal. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, come on, come on, 1... And there we go, so now it is fully charged. And when I throw this into here, it'll cook this, of course, at an incredibly fast rate. And as you can see, it's actually fluctuating a bit. I'm guessing that's just because it's not getting power as quickly as it's using it. And there we go. So now with our glass, we can go ahead and start creating it. So it requires one glass, plus a diamond block, plus a furnace. So let's make a furnace before we do anything. So furnace here, diamond block, and then we put glass on the top, plus glowstone. That creates an energy collector. 
Now the energy collector is unique in that it actually uses power. I'm going to put it, eh, let's just place it right there. So we're actually going to place a glowstone over it. Right, there you go. Everyone's been telling me to shift click, but that didn't work in 1.0, and now it works. So now, with that, and I throw in some red, say redstone, it will actually, as you can see, it's actually getting power. So if I throw in some redstone, it will turn that power. I mean, it'll use that power for something else. Let's actually sleep real quick. It'll convert it into a higher level thing, and it first starts at a well. It's, the lowest level is redstone, and then it goes to coal. And then it goes to other things. So I'm going to just put in 22 and show you guys. So right now, if I throw this in here, it'll actually turn... It'll immediately turn into coal. And then actually spend the rest of the time converting into other things. And once it gets to 64, it'll actually upgrade the redstone into coal. And then the coal into, I think, glowstone. Uh, no. No, it'll turn the coal into something else. I, I don't, I'm not exactly sure, but... We'll have to find out eventually. But for now, we're actually going to let that run, and I think I'm going to make a couple more. Okay, so I lied about only making a couple more of the collectors. I actually want to make five more. So I got five more blocks of diamond, and also I'm trying to get more glowstone. I don't want to waste all the glowstone I have. So instead, what I'm doing is actually converting glowstone directly into Mobius fuel. And when it's converted into Mobius fuel, I can then reconvert it I believe back into glowstone. I'm not entirely sure, but hey, I'm not perfect. <laughs> well, you can actually target certain things. So if I want to target this uh, the coal to turn directly into glowstone, of course I can. It's pretty awesome to do that. And, but generally, I like converting my glow. I mean, glow, ah, converting my redstone. I'm just messing up right now. My redstone directly into the fuel. But, of course, you don't have to do that, luckily. And you can actually target it to go into whatever you want. I generally prefer to have it go into Moby's Fuel. And this will take another, I'd say, 20 seconds to finish. So I'm going to let it finish real quick. So the amount of energy it takes to do to convert into things. So Moby's Fuel, to go from Glowstone to Moby's Fuel, takes 512 of these EMU units. However, turning this directly into gunpowder you know turning redstone to coal takes i think 64 coal to gunpowder takes another 64 but going from here to here takes another five tw wait two wait what is it 512 i don't know i just completely forgot well you guys saw it and right now we have our first moby's fuel moby's fuel is the highest level fuel you can get and actually generally what i like turning my fuel into what you can do however is actually target so if I want to turn coal directly into Moby's Fuel without going through all the other stages, I just put it right here in the targeting area. I kind of wish this was HD, kind of like the rest of the texture packs, but I can deal with it. And I do like how it actually fits, like, perfectly. Whoever made the texture pack did a really good job with that. And actually, right now, I'm just waiting to turn some more, I mean, to make more of these energy collectors. I don't know how I always forget what they're called, but... That's just how I am. So let's go, it's 512, that's why I earlier meant to say. So let's go ahead and make some more. I need more glass. So I'm just gonna make one for now. Diamond block, and then a furnace that I don't have, <laughs> like usual. So let's go and make that real quick. Do, 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 furnace, furnace, furnace. I think I don't even have any cobble. Yeah, I don't have any cobble, oh, damn it. Want it. Well, let's make some cobble. <clears throat> and as you can see, we have another full stack of cobble just by going to the transmutation tablet. And of course, now we can create uh, amazing things. So, do, 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 do. <clears throat> just like that. And once again, my voice is losing control because that's just how I am. Throw that there, throw those there. And then lastly, of course, get glass. And that creates another energy collector. I should probably sleep real quick. Sleepy, sleepy, night time. And so if you guys, remember, if you guys have any solution for as to why not enough items is just being mean to me, please tell me. And actually what I want to do is replace these with jack-o'-lanterns. I hope I got, f no, okay, I only got three. I lost one from that, unfortunately. So as you can see, we now have two, and we're saving money by using jack-o'-lanterns instead of full glowstone. And here, 
Actually, I'm not sure. Okay, that one's obviously getting power. I don't know why this one isn't. I'm gonna see if I can't... Huh, weird. You know what? I think it's actually this one's giving this one power. I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna try putting something in it. Let's try putting some glowstone. Okay, so yes. It is giving this power. So if I just put a whole bunch of these together all around one of them, it'll actually give that exact one in the middle a lot of power. I'm not entirely sure I want to do that right now, but we'll do we'll work with that later. And actually after we've collected a lot of dark matter, no no sorry, obsidian, we can turn obsidian and a diamond block and glass, of course, because you always need glass. And I don't think I have any more glass. So we're gonna make some more glass real quick. Luckily, I'm pretty sure glass costs the exact same as sand, so yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, actually, it only costs one, I think. Yep, only costs one. Pretty cheap. Nice and easy. So we're going to go and try to make... So of course, I can find the obsidian. Which I don't appear to have. We're going to get some obsidian real quick. Okay, so I got a little obsidian. Just one piece. And as you can see, it's only worth 64 EM, uh, EMC. So that means if I put in even just one piece of iron, I'm going to get a lot of it. Ah, a lot of it. I'm going to try putting in, let's see what we can get. I'm going to just put in a couple iron, which I apparently don't have. Where, where's, where's my iron? Okay, well, I'm going to just make one stack of that, or at least one thing of that. Put that in there. And as you can see, we have plenty of it. So, but I'm going to try to do, oh, okay, there it is. Uh, we just made 37 obsidian. So obviously we have a lot more obsidian than we need, but we can deal with that. And we need one diamond block, which we have. We need obsidian all around. And then lastly, we're going to need some glass. And that creates an antimatter relay. So what I do, what I'm going to do actually, is put, now place this right in the middle of these two. I'm going to take, oops, probably should not have done that, but eh, whatever. So I'm going to try to pick it up. There we go. Place that there. Place the, that's there. Get rid of that. And as you can see now, and once I replace this, I'm going to put that there, put that there, and replace that there. Okay, so now, energy, if I put, actually, I'm going to get rid of these. If I put this, something in here, it'll actually turn it directly into energy. So, oh, blaze powder. Huh. That's cool. I didn't even know you can make blaze powder. I'm going to get rid of some stuff in my inventory so I actually have some room. Okay, so if I get rid of some of this stuff, you can see that the energy is actually going to go, or at least I think it should go into this. I wonder what is going on. So the antimatter relay, I have to train it. Oh, I should probably train it so I can create antimatter relays directly. I'm going to train it so I can learn that as well. And we're going to go and put these guys in here. So that means that when I, if I have enough money, I mean EMC, I can go and immediately create these without having to go through the long process that I was doing previously. So now with all this stuff, we replace this, we replace this, and energy should be flowing into here. I do not know why it's not. So antimatter relay, oh, okay, requires a Klein star. And a Klein star then requires Mobius fuel. So that means I'm going to need to get six more Mobius fuel before I can even make the Klein star. So as you can see, this is almost done. And once this is done, we'll actually have enough Mobius fuel to create our first Klein star Ian. And that's when I place, let's find, actually, I should probably get this out. Get rid of, no, uh, no, uh, what am I doing? Okay, there we go. So once we get this out, press C, and we need one diamond. So we're gonna have to get out a diamond from here. Might as well just turn a diamond block into, there we go. And now we just put one diamond and then put these all around. Oops. Just like this. And that creates a Klein Star Ian. And then the Klein Star Ian, when placed here, will actually take all the EMC from the relay. And then you can use that EMC by placing it, say, I believe you can place it. No, no, don't place it there. Okay, so let me figure this out. Oh, okay, so I figured it out. So when I don't, okay, the EMC, the Kind Star Ian, sorry, when I place it into here, along with something else, so let's try putting in, let's just put in a diamond. It will directly convert it into EMC. So that means there will be a 0% loss between to here to here. 
And then what I can do with the client star in is then place it in my transmutation tablet <coughs> right here. And that'll actually, well, for one, I can actually make these now. And that'll actually let me put what take whatever I want from here. So if I want to take the diamond that I used to make it, there we go, just like that. And then now, so as you can see, it actually takes the power. I don't want to put it in here. Well, yeah, I don't really want to put it in there because I'm not sure if it'll like burn it up or something. But so yes, please, my, I need Lock Looney Gleek. Please tell me uh, what I should do with that. And then now we have our Blaze Powder, which we learned. And then also, I want to see what else we can make with this. But basically, now we are completely set for life. I am so far advanced compared to my previous world, it is not even funny. And then, as you can see, this is still getting a lot more power. The Mobius Shield is, I mean, still making Mobius Shield, just not as fast as before. And as you can see, if I place this right here, it actually directly convert it, take the energy from the Klein Star In, and then put it into the, the collector. So this will create Mobius Fuel. Wait, is it making... Is it turning Mobius Fuel into something else? Uh, I can't remember. Oh, yes it is. Okay, so apparently it turns Mobius Fuel into something else. I'm not exactly sure, but it will eventually. And we'll be back once this makes something. So I decided to go ahead and throw in my Klein Star In, I mean all my diamonds, and charge up my Klein Star In all the way. And fully charged, it holds 50,000 EMC. And I i don't believe it'll actually take... So if I were to put it into here, I believe it just spits out the Ian and not use it, but yeah. So basically, I can actually create another Klein Star Ian with it. I believe this one's an empty one. So that means if I want to, I can actually go ahead and make a whole bunch of Klein Star Ians. <clears throat> so let me see. I can transmute a bunch of furnaces, melt all my ores, and then go and... To the relay and oh okay so i can make another th three of them i believe i'm just going to test this out okay yes it does make a new one but they cost twenty five thousand. that is ex muy expensivo and as you can see we still have another 848 so i'm gonna i'm just gonna pop it in no okay so yes it doesn't let me pop it in there i'm just gonna use up all and i'm just gonna make two more of them or one more of it so that means when I combine all four of them, it'll actually make the next level of Klein Star. So let's throw that in there and actually get some more diamonds out. I'm just going to turn this block once again into diamonds. Actually, no, I'm just going to put the whole block in there. So as you can see, it instantly creates 75,000 EMC, which then powers this. And it's also at the same time powering this, which is almost done creating something. I'm not sure what it is, but it definitely is creating something. And as you can see, it is now mostly charged. Come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I want to show this before this episode's over. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure this episode's been going on way longer than I would like, but whatever, who's going to complain? There we go. So now we have one fully charged Kleinstar in. I'm going to create one more in, and then hopefully discharge the rest. So let's just make a whole bunch of diamonds. And let's just make something really simple. Let's make... Wood. Uh, I don't see why not. So now we have 16 stone. There we go. And then now, once I combine these in a crafting bench, it'll actually create the Kleinstar Zwei. This thing holds, I'm pretty sure it's something like double the previous version. And it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 100,000. Or maybe it's quadruple. I'm not exactly sure. Oops. Throw it right there. And as you can see, after, even though it has 10,000, it's still only like 1% full. So. I'm going to guess it's something like 20,000. Let's see. No, no, sorry. 200,000. The previous version could hold 50,000. This one can hold 200,000. And it's still charging because it's getting energy. Oh, hello. Eternus fuel. Yay. Okay. So putting Mobius fuel into here and letting that cook actually creates Eternus fuel. And Eternus fuel is used for... I'm just going to call it Eternus fuel. I don't care what you guys say. It's like, oh, no, it's Eternus fuel or whatever. I'm just... I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna bother. So now with all this, I'm gonna throw that in there as well. I can actually turn Moby's fuel directly into a Turnus fuel. I'm pretty sure it takes like four of them to make it, or maybe even more. Let's try diamond. Nope, more than a diamond. Wow, how expensive is it? <laughs> maybe it's cheaper than I think. Yeah, it's only 8,000. Huh, interesting. It's not even an option for me to get. That is weird. 
Weird. Okay, well, I'm guessing you can only turn certain things into other things. So, a turn is fuel. Actually, let me try glowstone. I'm going to see if you can't make glowstone. Because there's no other options right now. Well, I, hmm. I'm going to guess that this has specific things. So, if I want to make blaze powder into something else, I can only make it into two other things. I can't actually make it into other like, I can't make stone into blaze powder or anything else. So let's try diamond. Yeah, as you can see, it's not an option. However, when I place uh, Eternus Fuel, it is an option. So, yeah, basically, just that's the whole purpose of it. And the uh, new Client Star's Way and the Barking Puppy in the background, it holds 200,000. So I believe this is the end of this episode. This is Luke. You have indeed been watching Opiki Gaming, and I hope you all have a very, very nice day.